Mosquitoes! Huh. Good God, y'all! What are they good for? Hello, mosquitoes. Trace here for D News, and Natalia Reagan is back. Hey, Natalia, how do you feel about mosquitoes? They totally suck, and they're the deadliest animal in the world, with at least one million people dying a year from mosquito-borne illnesses. We are all literally itching for a solution to these flying, biting, annoying, little disease-spreading insect jerk faces. But to be honest, other than their bite, most people don't know that much about them. There are 3,500 different species of mosquito in the world, and they're on every continent in every habitat. They've evolved alongside us for 100 million years, and they bite humans, but also tons of other animals. The females are the bitey ones, but most species actually just ignore humans outright. Mosquitoes are active year-round in warmer regions, and they lay their eggs in the fall in colder regions so that they can hatch in the spring. Mosquito eggs have to be laid in stagnant water because of the three-step maturation process. That's why you might associate stagnant bogs and ponds with mosquitoes. The larvae, which is the first thing that comes out after the eggs hatch, live in water, eating microorganisms and algae. Then they grow into a pupa that also lives in the water until that starts a metamorphosis, which is like a butterfly, into a flying adult mosquito up in the air. Three steps. Yep. Those adults then go on to spread diseases and cause those annoying, itchy bites. Ugh. So let's try for a moment to imagine a world without mosquitoes. No malaria, no yellow fever, no dengue fever, no bot flies. A world without mosquitoes sounds like it doesn't suck. Uh -huh. But what purpose do mosquitoes actually serve? Don't they have to have a purpose? Not really, actually. They exist because they haven't gone extinct yet. But scientists say if tomorrow they were all gone, the world would look pretty much the same. We would all move on. Because of the economic problems that come with treating the 200 million people who get malaria every year from mosquitoes, not to mention the other diseases, people are intent on wiping them out. But honestly, we're just not that good at it yet. It's like what Ian Malcolm said in Jurassic Park. Scientists are so preoccupied with whether or not they could, they didn't stop to think if they should. So before we completely badmouth these vampires cloaked in exoskeletons, let's look at how mosquitoes provide some ecosystem services. Mosquitoes in all stages of life serve as food for bats, birds, fishes, frogs, turtles, dragonflies, damselflies, spiders, and other mosquitoes, to name just a few. In the Arctic, there are swarms of mosquitoes so thick that they are said to turn the sky dark. And some researchers say that migratory birds would stop heading to the Arctic if this buffet of bloodsuckers disappeared. In the scientific community, we can now gather mosquitoes from an area, extract the blood from its gut, sequence the DNA to see what or who was its last meal, and then we can determine what animals live in the region. Like a bloody census. That's pretty awesome. If we did erase them from existence, these other species would have to find food elsewhere. Even though research shows that less than 1% of the diet of bats is comprised of mosquitoes, and they're the biggest predator of these insects, without that biomass to eat, these animals might not be smart enough to replace the food source. And even if they were, wouldn't they then be taking it from another species? According to the North Carolina Department of Environment and Natural Resources, those tundra birds could drop by as much as 50% if the mosquitoes disappear. Not to mention, mosquitoes drink the nectar of flowers, which encourages pollination, just like bees. Mosquitoes do things. I mean, sort of. Sure. Even so, scientists in parts of North America and Africa are moving forward with plans to annihilate mosquitoes by releasing genetically modified super sexy males using chemical pesticides or insecticide treated bug nets to destroy them. I kind of feel bad for the mosquito now, you know? I mean, I feel worse about people with mosquito-borne illnesses like dengue fever or malaria. I mean, that's way worse, but the mosquito isn't really to blame, you know, it's just doing a thing. I know, right? It's just nature being nature. Hopefully we can find a solution that lets them go on living, like infecting them with a bacteria that stops them from spreading the dengue virus. That's already on the table. For more on species you didn't know about, check out Natalia's video from her last visit here where she reveals the truth about a newly discovered human ancestor named Littlefoot. Fortunately, his head is well preserved and exhibits traits that differ from A. africanus, such as larger cheek teeth, a longer, flatter face, and a slight sagittal crest or a bony ridge along the top of his head. And, as you may have guessed, little feet. And do you still want mosquitoes wiped out or should we keep them around? Tell us in the comments below and thanks for watching D News. Come follow us on Twitter and come find me and Trace too. I'm at Trace Dominguez. I'm at Natalia13Reagan. Thanks for watching, everybody.